Mr. Alan Partridge. Such a, it's a thrill. Oh. Well, I'm so excited to meet you. I've been a, I've been a fan of yours for years, Alan. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, no, did you have a nice journey down? You came down from Norwich just to be with yeah. us? Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, uh, hi, hi. Um, <laughs> no, it's, uh, yeah, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> no, I did. I came down uh, on the A11, um, you know, in, in a, uh, in a uh, blue Vauxhall Corsa. Okay. Uh, but I was cut up by a white van man. Oh. Yeah, which was very annoying. Really furious I was, but then further down the road I saw that he careered off the road and uh, the fire brigade were having to cut him out using uh, sort of those electric cutting. So oh. I thought to myself, well, you know, what goes around comes around. <laughs> now, we have the book here. Uh, I, it's called I Partridge. We need to talk about Alan. That's what the book's called. <laughs> uh, are you pleased with it, Alan? I, I, yeah, I mean, if I, can use, uh, if I can use a swear word, I'm chuffed to buggery. <laughs> I think it's the best. I think it's the best book uh, I've ever written, wow. and one of the best books I've ever read. Wow! <laughs> high, high praise indeed. Uh, lots of celebrity autobiographies come out this time of year. This yep. is uh, we yep. have we have an all. Do you do yep. you look at the competition? Have you I read many them. others? I, I love uh, other people's autobiographies, Jonathan. I I, I consume them avariciously. Oh. Um, uh, Richard Hammond, I think, is my favourite. Yeah. Uh, he put his out not long ago. Um, he's had his ups and downs. I mean, I think we were all devastated. Uh, I think we all were when we, uh, we heard he'd been involved in the uh, Morrison's adverts. Oh. <laughs> but, you know, what can you say? Yeah, yeah. You are offer words of support. It's tragic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, well, I'm always here for him if he needs to talk. Well, that's nice to know. Do you, do you know him or do you have many showbiz pals? Uh, I think I can count the number of friends I have in the industry on, on my thumbs and big toes. Okay. Um, <laughs> or the fingers of one hand, not including the thumb. Okay. I've got four. I've got four, four friends. Four, okay. <laughs> um, four celebrity friends. Could you? Yeah. Who are they? Eamon, Eamon Holmes, uh, Richard Hammond, Sue Cook. Shit, that's three. Um, oh, and Gary Barlow. Yeah. Okay. My so, new best friend. so you met is Gary, first time you met Gary tonight? Yeah, and he's my new best friend. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. You like his music? Do you know? About the X Factor whole deal? Oh yeah, the whole, I mean, I, I, lo I love X Factor. I think uh, I have to say, Gary is a welcome uh, shot in the arm for, for all of that. Uh, it, it really needs it, and um, uh, uh, and of course uh, he provides a lovely counterbalance to uh, Louis Walsh, uh, who I think everyone agrees is an awful man. <laughs> uh, um, you know, let me talk about the uh, the other movie because you've had your ups and you've had your downs, of course, and you talk about your own battles with um, various personal demons uh, and your weight, of course. You've been up and down on that. We've seen that. Uh, you were very, very into chocolate at one stage. Uh, yes, I was addicted, medically addicted, to Toblerone. Oh. Um, <laughs> From a time I was mildly overweight. Well, you were, what are you about? 20, 21 stone thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was about uh, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, yeah. okay. And, and it was particularly that chocolate, that confectionery that you craved? Yes, it was, yeah. Um, I, I should point out that that weight was... I, I lost that weight uh, very, very soon after because the, the sudden weight loss uh, left me with masses of excess skin on my stomach, um, which, which, when I was clothed, wasn't a problem. I'd just tuck it in my jeans. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but when I was naked, it looked like a big pink sporran. Oh. <laughs> Well, and it, you, you look... Do you have it now? It's oh, well, I had it surgically removed, oh, good. yeah. Um, and I asked that it be, the skin be donated to medical science. Oh, okay. yeah. And I've drawn enormous comfort from the thought that one day my, a flap of my tummy may be used to rebuild a child's face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite, quite lovely, really, I suppose. Mm, yeah. that, uh, so yeah, the, and you're a very giving person, yeah. we can see that. Mm. Uh, how did you lose the weight, though? Because uh, that dramatic weight well, loss. I tried a cheap version of a gastric band, uh -huh. uh, which is essentially just me wearing a child's belt. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, uh, I passed out uh, when I tried to bend down and do my shoelace. Uh, you're very frank in the book. I noticed, uh, and I'm surprised at how frank you are in the book about about your the physical side of life, about your sexual experiences. Well, I think I think I am these days. I'm very sort of open. I used to be quite stuffy, a bit of a square. But now I've really sort of, uh, you know, I took some advice from. Uh, <laughs> from uh... <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty open about my. Uh, Sexuality. And you're comfortable about talking about it? You don't mind sure, sharing? Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, okay. well let me ask you a question then. With your first wife, you were fairly inexperienced. I was when, when you I got met married. Carol, yeah. I mean, uh, I was a virgin, whereas Carol had been hymen free for the best part of six years. 
Uh, but these days I'm very relaxed about discussing sexuality. I, I mean, I used to think no one wants to hear about an over the hill guy and his sexual proclivities. But then I thought, no, they do. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, but what about now? Is there a special lady in your life now? Uh, yeah, I'm dating at the moment. I'm, I'm sure she actually won't mind me saying this, but um, she's a retired primary school teacher with dyed hair. Um, <laughs> the other week we went out and had a, what I can only describe as a very sexy day. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, oh. Afterwards, we went back to my place, and instead of uh, she suggested going to the bedroom, and I said, uh, "No, let's let's do it here," and uh, we did it right there in the conservatory. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I lay her down on the uh, terracotta floor. Um, then I remembered we had underfloor heating, uh, had been on all day, and she, she, uh, there was a risk of her getting chillblains on her buttocks. Oh, okay. So I quickly removed some of the tethered pads from the wicker furniture, uh, placed them under her bottom and shoulder blades, and then just told her to keep as still as possible. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, that would, do the, uh, that would do the trick. It would. Uh, yeah. And then she, she placed her legs at ten to two. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> I mean, actually, no, what, she's over 56, what am I talking about? No, uh, 20 past 8. Yeah. OK. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess in a way she was making a sort of... Which was actually the time, so in a way she was making a sort of sexy human clock. For you, yeah. 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 I mean, you, know, you guys know how it is, though. You know, you get two randy uh, divorcees on a heated conservative floor well, with, they're, with they're, their organs within spitting distance of each other. Well, they're going to be fireworks. They're, they're going to be sparks. That's as fireworks. simple as that. Yeah. OK, well, I'm pleased to know you're still active oh, and sure, enjoying yeah. life uh, in that way. <laughs> Um, one thing I've admired about you over the years, Alan, is yeah. that you're very much an ideas man. I know oh, yeah. that. Yeah. You know, I often joke to people, I've got so many ideas up my sleeves, I can't wear a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but seriously... Um, yeah. Yeah. But uh, they're not all good ideas, it has to be said, and I hope you don't mind me saying this. I mean, I remember uh, hearing that you'd pitched various shows to BBC... I don't really want to go through a list of my portfolio of TV ideas. If no, it's all no, OK, you, OK, just you don't want to mention any. OK, fine. All right, one. Okay. one. Dogs on Fogel. <laughs> ben Fogel is given a one-mile head start and, <laughs> and is then pursued by hunting dogs. Well, that seems to be a popular concept. Okay. If it... That's it, that's, that's the idea in a yeah, well, I don't limit myself to uh, terrestrial television. I'm very interested in cracking the Chinese market. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I've got well, that's I... the biggest market in the world. Well, there's loads of them. Uh, I... There are. Yes, that's a fact. I, I can't dispute yeah. that fact. Um, <laughs> and the other idea is called uh, Chun Wang King. Uh, yeah, I almost went to ask. What it's that... Alexa Chung, Gok Wan, and Jonathan King. Wow. <laughs> and and okay, Chun Wang King. Uh, so you have the film of that. Uh, and what are they doing? I have absolutely no idea. Oh, it's just the... <laughs> I'm a big fan of Alan Partridge and I'm a big fan of the book. I, Partridge, uh, you know, I, I won't go so far as to say you taught me everything I knew, but certainly uh, I've studied your career with a lot of interest, uh, as we all have. Great to have you here. Mr Alan Partridge, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>